Okay, so you built your awesome mod and now you want um, everybody else to be able to use it. So you want to have it in here into the workshop. So how do you do that? Well, you need to upload it to something called mod.io, which is the backend of the um, workshop you see here. I might in the future add a button somewhere and this entire UI might change in the future too. But anyway, how to get it in here? Um, yeah, we have to go into mod.io. I'm going to try this out in an incognito browser. So I'm going to create a user. So um, it should look exactly like you would do it because I'm currently an admin in this system. So it works a little different for me normally, but uh, I'll try and do it as a real user this time, which I have actually never tried before. So uh, let's um, let's try it out. So we are in here and um, Fireworks Mania is actually on this little path here. You can also see it if you go in here and click Browse Games. You can see right now it's down here on something, whatever. But hopefully soon it will rise up on the list as people are starting to use. Uh, yeah, as, as everybody is starting to use the multiplayer version and then point to this game uh, again. Um, anyway, so we want a mod in here. So how we do that? Add a mod. Well, we can't because we need to log in. So, um, yeah, so let's do that. So you can log in however you want, I guess. But I'm going to use email now because, um, yeah, that's the easiest thing to test for me. So I'm just going to do a uh, mod creator YouTube, whatever, at my domain here and then email code. So you put in your email here and then you get an email. Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Yes, I got an email and I got a uh, digital code here. So now it's gonna sign me in. I need a display name. So let's call it um, uh, Fireworks Mania Tutorial. Or maybe I could have made uh, made the email something like that. If into oh tutorial uh, user doesn't really matter. But, but it matters to you, of course. You need to put in your your nickname here. I'm just putting in FM for Fireworks Mania tutorial user. So let's see. So now we're actually ready to start. So um, let's see. I never tried this before this way around. Um, but um, okay, cool. So mod name. Let's call it Laumania tutorial first uh, mod. Then we do a summary. This is a mod created as part of a tutorial on how to put your mod on mod.io slash in-game workshop. Homepage, we don't have a homepage. I don't right now. Got a something here, public comments, yada, yada, yeah, perfect. Okay, but we need a mod listing image so i guess if we browse here if we just open this in a new tab uh, i guess it's one of these images here so we need some kind of image representing our mod so um the best way to do that i guess is to go in here and then take a screenshot screenshot of our mod and you can use the built-in steam uh, screenshot thingy or yeah, whatever tool I think I'm gonna use. I have a snippet tool called Light Switch, I think. Um, but um, yeah, let's see. So let's go in here. I'm just gonna go in here and place it somewhere where it doesn't belong. But anyway, so we created a motor. Let's put it there. And we created a shell. And I think we created in the first video, I think we created a this one too. So these three are in the mod I'm gonna upload. So let's do some kind of, uh, I don't know how we can do this in a good way because there's no middle way of doing this. So I'm gonna, um, maybe I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah, let's do it like this. I'm gonna zoom in. No, I'm not because then it will be hard to take the screenshot. I'm just gonna do like this. You can see the um, UI we don't want because that looks stupid. So by hitting F2, all the UI goes away and we can just take a screenshot. So I'm gonna use my little snippet tool here and just do something like, uh, yeah. 
yeah, maybe something like this. And then I'm going to save it. Boom. Okay. So let's see. Um, let's see. Maybe we need more. So let's upload here. Let's see. I'm going to go here. And let me find that screenshot. Here we go. Yep. So this is our screenshot. Perfect. Okay. Then we scroll down here. Tags. So what mod type is this? Is it a firework, map, prop, or character? It's a firework mod. What type of fireworks do we have? We have uh, that, 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 that. we have mortar, we have shell, and we also had a cake, right? So we have these three. Is it anything specific for any event? It's not any seasonal thing, so that's fine. Create mod. Let's see. So first mod has been created. Perfect. Okay, needs file. So add media to image. So we can upload more images if you want, a YouTube video, Sketchfab model, whatever. Um, I don't have any more images of this, but you can put it up here if you want to. But let's see if we can continue. Okay, here, upload your mod file. So zip and upload the base folder of your mod. Yada, yada, yada. Must be a zip file. Cannot be more than 20 gigabytes. That's no problem. File name cannot contain any of the following characters. Okay. So if we look in our mod export folder. <clears throat> so this is the folder that you build your mods to. You can see I have a bunch of mods in here. But the one I want to build is the tutorial mod. And I know that because it's called tutorial mod in here. And that's where I have these three different prefabs as you can see so this is my mod and we can also go up here and see the export settings so this is the, the mod name and this is where it's being outputted and this is the folder that we have open here so this is the mod we actually want to put up on the workshop um so one way to zip it, you need to get this file into a zip file now to be able to upload it. You can't just upload it like that. So what you want to do is you right click at least in Windows 11. I think you can do the same in Windows 10. Um, you right click, <coughs> compress to zip file. And then you have a zip, oh, zip file. One way to check that everything is fine is to open up, double click the zip file. And make sure the mod file is right here in the root of the zip file. It cannot be in any subfolders in here. So it needs to be just like this one. Okay, perfect. So let's copy this path here and let's select our, I think we could actually, I know what, I think we could actually, we could browse to it, but I think we might be able also to just drag it in here. Maybe? Yes, we could. So you can drag it or you can browse to it, doesn't matter. Then we get a version number. You can version it however you want, but let's just go with the one they suggest. And then we call it initial, whoops, initial version or something like that. Then you, of course, read the terms and the privacy policy. So you know all the stuff that goes on. And then you click accept to this if you agree to this. And then you upload your mod. So let's see what happens now. Um, then you can add a dependency on other mods if you have some other mods that your one is um, is uh, depending on. This currently doesn't work here in end of 2024. This is not working in the game. It's not downloading dependency automatically. So you don't have to put anything in here. Um, or you can't. Uh, yeah, you can. But um, hopefully in the future I will make this work too. But anyway, it's if if you are building something that is depending on another mod, then you could do this. But we just continue because our mod doesn't have any dependency on any other mods. So now we have our mod page. We can see mod visibility. It's public. You can hide it or, or show it. Um, that's up to you. But also remember that there are moderators here. Your mod is not going straight into the game. So what happens now is that Modders, that can be me or Keldosa or any of the other. There are a few people that are moderators. They have to approve your mod before it shows up in the game. If I go to the game here, maybe I can actually see it because... Let's see. Because I think I'm locked in here. Um, but no, I don't think so. Of course, I can't see it. So I can't see it because it's not 
there yet. It's not approved, sorry. You can see here mod status not accepted. Um, and all you have to do now is wait. Once a moderator approves it, um, you will... I don't, I don't know actually if you get a notification. Um, let's see here, let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see, I can just quickly, let me just, I'm just doing here on another screen, oops, um, where I'm a moderator. So let's try and approve it just quickly. So here it is. So I can see here there is a new mod and then I'm going to approve it. So now it's approved. I'm going to remove it in a moment anyway. But, uh, so now I'm on the other screen that you didn't see. I, as a moderator, approved the mod. And now you can see it's public. Then it's up to you. You can hide and you can show it. But it's public now. And now it also shows up in... It should show up here in the releases. So I guess in, in a moment it will show up here in the releases um, in the Discord. And we should also we should also be able to see it here actually. If we say recent edit. Yep, here we have it. Lamina tutorial, first mod. Ta -da. And we can go into the game. And if we maybe we should if we browse, I don't know if we can how can we actually do that? So if we go back. Uh, okay, it might be cached for a bit, so it might be, take a little while before it shows up here on the front page. Now we are very fast now. So, but you can see I can search for it. So here it is. My mod. Nice. Initial version. And then you, of course, can subscribe to it and use it. Remember that you have, as you are the creator, you have the mod in your local folder too. By the way, this zip file can be deleted on your machine after you have uh, whoops after you have uploaded it. Um, but remember that one as long as you have a mod in your local mods folder that one is loaded first so this is the mod you will be loading not the one you're downloading here um, but simply just delete it from your folder we can actually try that so I delete it here and um, oops so I delete it here and then we can try go in quickly just to see that it's working. So we go in here, we can see the cakes. There are no of this uh, yellow cake. This is another sample I made. And we don't have the mortar, we don't have the shell. So that's perfect. And then we go back. And you should be aware of this because you can pretty easily get confused because you, you are thinking you are playing this one, but you are really playing the local one. But uh, now I you saw I didn't have it now. Now I subscribe to it. And now if I go in here, I should be able to see the new stuff. Yep, Lomagnet to Drill Cake. Boom. Mortar. Boom. Shell. Boom, 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 boom. And it hopefully works too. Perfect. It was a little crazy because there was a few shells on the top of the cake, but uh, you know how it goes. Anyway, that's it. That's how you get your mod um, on the workshop. And now you actually see it here. So you can see there, there's a little cache. So it takes a little time before it shows up here on the on the front page. But uh, I'm going to remove this again because uh, it's just a test thing. And uh, you really don't want to play with that. But anyway, this is how you do it. Easy peasy. Happy modding. Bye.